senior Donald Trump advisor named as, quote, person of interest in Russia investigation. A senior White House official has been named as a person of interest in the criminal investigation into possible ties between Russia and Donald Trump's campaign for the presidency, insiders have claimed. A Washington Post investigation revealed someone close to President Trump could be called into hearings as swirling controversy threatens to derail the Republican firebrand's political ambitions. But while the person of interest is yet to be confirmed, insiders have claimed the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, may be implicated in the investigation. Mr. Kushner has long advised the president both during his campaign and in the White House. Earlier this week, leading Republican Senator Lindsey Graham claimed the U.S. Justice Department probe into alleged ties between Russia and Donald Trump's presidential campaign is a criminal investigation. It comes following a week of increasing controversy for President Trump following his firing of former FBI Director James Comey. Mr. Comey is due to testify to an open session of the Senate Intelligence Committee after being fired from his position as head of the intelligence agency. The recently sacked intelligence official has agreed to the hearing amid growing concerns over President Trump's ties to Russia and his involvement in the ongoing investigation into former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Look at this controversial political graffiti. Uh, unbelievable. And this is all created through John Podesta's thing that he, he wanted to create this narrative about Trump and Russia and Putin. Reports have emerged that Mr. Comey wrote a memo after a meeting with Mr. Trump where the U.S. President was quoted as saying, I hope you can let this go. The memo is said to have been written by Mr. Comey the day after Mr. Flynn resigned. Meanwhile, inside sources have claimed Russian officials bragged over their ability to use Mr. Flynn to influence President Trump. Sources told CNN they have cultivated a strong relationship with the retired U.S. Army Lieutenant General. And insiders claimed conversations between Russian officials, which were then picked up by intelligence agencies, revealed they regarded Mr. Flynn as an ally. An Obama-era White House staffer said this was a five-alarm fire from early on the way the Russians were talking about him. A White House official said we are confident that when these inquir inquiries are complete, there will be no evidence to support any collusion between the campaign and Russia. This matter is not going to distract the president or his administration from its work to bring back jobs and keep America safe. Let's take a quick listen to Donald Trump here. But isn't that interesting that they're naming now Kushner? We're going to have a director who's going to be outstanding. I'll be announcing that director very soon, and I look forward to doing it. I think the people in the FBI would be very, 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 very thrilled. And just in Concluding, uh, we look forward to getting this whole situation behind us. There was no uh, collusion. And everybody, even my enemies, have said there is no collusion. So we want to get back and keep on the track that we're on because the track that we're on is record setting. And that's what we want to do is we want to break very positive records. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching.